if I have a desire, I would like to think that intuition and intuitiveness are just my the greater part of me sending me signals and I'm listening and it's, you know, that it's sort of magic. That's the way we tell it. But is it also desire? I mean, if I have a desire. Well, here's what it is. Okay. So we've been talking already here today about the receptive mode. If you accept that your inner being exists and that this vibrational reality exists and your inner being is all part of that. So there's this high, clear knowing. If you accept that, then when we say get into the receptive mode of that, we just mean you can't be worried and you can't be angry and you can't be mad. In other words, you've got to be tuned in, tapped in, turned on so that you are in the vibrational vicinity or frequency of that. Okay. So receptive mode. And then the ideas that flow, the intuition, the impulse. It's all such a lovely thing. But, and this is where your question's coming from. We just said that whatever you are broadcasting equals what's coming back to you. And what's coming back to you feels like impulses. Therefore, you can be in this receptive mode of joy and appreciation or this receptive mode of overwhelmment or this receptive mode of hope or this receptive mode of anger or this receptive mode of blame or this receptive mode of guilt or this receptive mode of depression and, and, and. Because you're always in the receptive mode of something because you're always broadcasting you're awake, you're broadcasting. And if you're broadcasting, then law of attraction is responding. So your point of attraction is giving you impulses. So the intuition, people use different words. Usually inspiration feels like this. Motivation usually feels like this. Inspiration, but that feeling, it's a feeling of momentum that comes because there is a current of energy moving and you can tap into it anywhere along the way. Usually when we use the word inspiration, we mean, and we want you to mean, I'm in tune with who I am. Mm -hmm. And so the whole of me is focused in this moment. And the impulses that I have is that broader perspective living with me right here and now. Your inner being is always focused with you, no matter what you're doing. But the question is, are you anywhere in the vibrational vicinity so that you can receive the absolute impulse of your own inner being? Okay, good. <laughs> no, no, I think I did get that. We know you got that. So now okay. flesh it out with what was on your mind a little bit. The teachers, like Abraham. Well, I mean, we all don't have Abraham, but we all have teachers, right? So they're just part of the energy flow that you're talking about. In terms of, you know, when you're tuned in and you're getting messages, and I, you know, it's from so-and-so or it's from so-and-so. It could be from somebody departed, passed over. Everyone who is reemerged in a non-physical is in that pure positive place. And they are, we are, aware of you, aware of what you're asking for, aware of where you are in relationship to it. And we are always offering our opinion is maybe the best way of saying it, or our perspective of how you could get from where you are to what you are really asking for. You would never walk into a room and look for a dark switch. You don't expect to flip a switch and put darkness into the room. But you do know that there are switches that can resist the light or allow it. In other words, the circuit can be left open or you can close it off. And so there's no source of negative stuff. But as you live here in this physical world and people are thinking thoughts, those thoughts are turning to things. Thoughts right, right. do turn to things. Yes. And so by caring about how you feel and by steadily tuning yourself to those highest frequencies where you feel that love and you feel that appreciation, then you become more aware of what receptive mode you're in. Really, it is as simple as just being able to accurately acknowledge your mood. If you feel overwhelmed, don't go out. If you feel angry, stay home. In other words, don't get out into the world, tune yourself to that higher frequency, get out ahead of it, and then follow through. Now, that'd be nice if everyone were 
right where they want to be, it'd be easier, wouldn't it? You didn't have jobs that you don't want or bills that you're struggling to pay and that sort of thing. So we know that there is a reality that you are facing. But when you care about the way you feel, so you are guiding your thoughts so that you're increasingly feeling for longer periods of time better and better and better, then you will begin noticing the evidence of bigger, more positive payoffs from your impulses and inspiration. And I hear you on that because I've been listening to you for many, many years. And as time goes by, I practice what you say more and more instead of just listening, like the lady said before. And I do see those thoughts turning to things, absolutely, in bigger yes. and bigger ways. And it's keeping up with who I've become, which is yes. what you're saying. Right? Yes. So uh, the energy level just keeps expanding then as, you, as we go along. That's yeah, because hear. there's no regression. You can't go back. You can never be less than you are. So life just keeps causing you to be more and more and more. And if you want to feel good, you got to keep up with the more that life is causing you to become. So there's no top on So every emotion that you feel is your gap. There is no ending. There is no top. There is no ending. That's why we are eternal. We never get it done in a very rudimentary way. So contrast, you know what you don't want, you know what you do want, causes you to ask for something. And it feels weird to you at first because you're over here and this is isolated and new and an improvement, but it's not where you hang out. So you look at it and you think about it and you pretend it and you imagine it and you become a vibrational match to it. And then you move over there where it is in the receiving mode and now it manifests. So now you are living the result of your asking and your receiving, your allowing. But not only did you get what you asked for, you also got a new set of contrasting experiences that caused you to launch different rockets than you could have launched before. So now you're launching different rockets, new and improved ones, advanced ones, expanded ones. And at first they feel odd to you because it's not where you steadily hang out. But you think about it and you find the mood of it. You find the feeling place of it. It begins to feel more natural to you. You move over into it and now you're in the receiving mode and now your thoughts turn to things and now you are receiving. Now you're living the full realization, the full manifestation of it. And you not only got the full manifestation of it, the bigger house or the wonderful relationship or the more money or the whatever it is, but you also got a new vantage point from which to focus and on and on it goes. So there's no ending. It's time to give up the idea that you're ever going to get it done because you're not and to start enjoying the journey. You hear that all the time. Enjoy the journey, enjoy the journey, enjoy the journey. <laughs> so annoying. But really, you got to figure out how to enjoy the journey. And when you're in the receptive mode and you're allowing the fullness of who you are to flow through you and you're following through with those impulses and inspiration so that timing lines up, it feels to you like the whole world is your concierge who's just out there ahead of you, just prepaving things and saying, we know you like that. So here's it. And we know you like that and 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 that. So here it is all right now in this moment. You go, Ooh, wow. I love this moment. And then your inner being says, and here's more and here's more and here's more. Now you're on this path where all the things that you've been asking for can be demonstrated to you and live by you now and now and now and now and now. And others who are watching you say, Ooh, man, you are a greedy bugger. <laughs> How is it that so much good comes to you? There are so many people out there that don't have any good coming to them. And look at all of this good that's coming to you. Clarity and fun and friends and so much abundance and so much new and steady, joyous life experience. Why is it so good for you? You say, because I got in the receiving mode of it. It's the way it is supposed to be for all of us. None of you ever say, well, I have been so well this whole year. I've decided for the month of June, I'm going to be sick. <laughs> it's just not fair. I've been well for so long, I'm going to be sick and allow more people to be well during the month of June. <laughs> because you don't think that there's wellness that's being divvied out like that. You understand in that case that it's something that you are personally allowing yourself to experience or not. And by you being well, you don't deprive anyone else. And by you being clear-minded, you don't make others confused. And when you're steady, you don't make others unsteady. And when you are abundant, you don't take it away from others. The universe expands this physical world, the vortex that this physical world, this current world consciousness has accomplished a vortex that is indescribable. Enough 
for all of you to live 20 or 30 lifetimes from. You've barely scratched the surface of what you as individuals or collectively are allowing in, in terms of peace and harmony and wellness and abundance of all nature. There's so much there. And so as you live as an example of someone who's figured out how to let it in, how to let it flow, not because if you don't, something's gone wrong, but because you put it there, it's time for you to cash in your vibrational chips. It's time for you to allow yourself to be the receiver of the benefit of what your life has put there, you say. These are good times. This is the time of awakening, the time of really of reawakening, the time of allowing, the time of receiving, the time of getting up to speed with who you really are. And all of us knowing where you stand in relationship to it and pointing you in that direction. So those non-physical energies are always aware and always thinking thoughts. And when you are in the vibrational vicinity, then you feel the idea, you get the idea. And then as you proceed in the direction of that through your inspired action, and then you experience the manifestation of it, that's really when you begin to feel your utter worthiness. That's when you really begin to understand how blessed you really are. That's when you really begin to understand that there's no shortage for anyone and you've tapped into it. And then you teach through the clarity of your example. When others say, how is it that you thrive? You say, I find things to be happy about. And they say, well, there's not much to be happy about in my world. And you say, well, you got to look hard sometimes, but you can always find it if you look. And every time you look and find, then you shift a little bit and then you're ready for more and more and more because law of attraction works that way.